Hey guys, Cameron here coming at you with another vlog. Welcome to the game station. So, in honor of St. Patty's Day, I decided to do a vlog mainly, well, it's kind of for two reasons. One has to pertain to St. Patty's Day and one doesn't. So, without further ado, let's get in our way. So, for all of those that are going out for St. Patty's Day, have fun, be merry, and drink your weight in fucking alcohol, because that is what St. Patty's Day is about, is getting fucking shit-faced. Sadly, I will not be getting shit-faced tonight. I really wish I was, but nope, not not tonight at least. Probably next, next year on St. Patty's Day, though. Hell yeah, I'm getting shit-faced. So... Not only does, is today St. Patty's Day, but it's also my two-month anniversary with my wonderful girlfriend. Um, and that kind of goes into the second... Oh, the St. Patty's Day thing. Okay, so I'm going to say the St. Patty's Day thing, and then I'm going to go on to the next topic. Okay, so if you and your friends are going out drinking tonight, here's a few simple rules. One, if your friend gets really fucking hammered, don't let him take his keys. Take his keys from him and act like he's a fucking three-year-old because trust me, you do not want your friend driving if he is shit-faced or if she is shit-faced. Take their keys and call them an Uber, get them home safe. Be a good friend. <laughs> now, if you are the one who is shit-faced, make sure you have a friend promise to do said steps for you. Take your keys, buy you an Uber, and, dr and get you home safe and get you in bed. Because honestly, that is what St. Patty's Day is all about, is safety. I don't care if you guys say, I, I literally just went back on my word. I know it's about getting shit-faced, but you guys got to be safe too. My dad had a pretty rough St. Patty's Day a few years back, and it was terrible for him. But I got to laugh at his pain, so it was awesome. Alright, and on to the next topic. So, yesterday I was browsing through Facebook, and I saw a post from a friend ex friend of mine because I did not want to have her on my Facebook anymore because she's a stupid fucking ignorant bitch I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna go in my basement because my basement is nice I like my basement okay so she basically posted that all men are lying pigs and I, I simply said, not all guys are. She replies with, yeah, they really are. I reply with, I'm in a very happily committed relationship and I am not a fucking guy who's gonna cheat. I am loyal as fuck. I would never hurt the girl I'm dating. And she says, oh, you're probably just better at hiding. I'm thinking, bitch, have you, I've been cheating on. I know how it fucking feels. It's not always the guy's fault. You can't just say that all guys are pigs because you date nothing but assholes. Now I didn't say anything back to her. I just said, all right, fuck you. Deleted my comment, unfriended that bitch, and that was the end of it. I'm not having somebody who can't fucking open their mind, who's just going to be ignorant about a subject, instead of actually listening to somebody who actually knows that not all guys are assholes, because, let's see, I'm a fucking guy, and I'm loyal as fuck. I would never do anything to hurt my girlfriend. I would never cheat on her, or hit her, or anything. So, if you're a girl, and you're in a relationship with, asshole, with an asshole, I'm going to say this to you right now. One, not all men are pigs. Don't look at it that way because you're never going to get anywhere. Two, if you're, if you're in a relationship with an asshole, dump his ass. Three, if all you fucking date is assholes, change your fucking view. And four, actually have an open mind and realize that not all men are going to be assholes to you. It's probably just the guys you're dating. If you want to stop dating asshole, if you want to actually find a nice guy... Quit hanging out with the same fucking dudes because they're going to be assholes to you just like the other guy was. There's no fucking reason for you to say that all men are pigs when you date nothing but assholes. If you date nothing but assholes, yeah, you deserve somebody who's going to fuck you over because that's what you get. Same thing with a guy. If he dates nothing but fucking stuck-up ignorant sluts, then yeah, he's going to get what he deserves. He's going to fucking realize that, oh, I shouldn't have dated her in the first place. I should date somebody who's nicer. It's not my fault that the bitch is, and she's just ignorant and decided to say, no, they all are, I don't care what you say. I hate people who, who are like that. It's like she has a vegan attitude, but I know she's not vegan. You know what I mean? That vegan attitude where I'm better than you and you should change your lifestyle because blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I actually have a third thing to say in this video, that's right. I hate vegans. I hope you guys know this. 
I hate vegans for many fucking reasons, but the number one reason I hate vegans, if you guys know the YouTuber Onision, he also has another channel called Uh Oh Bro, I hate vegans because of vegans like him. The ones that say, oh, meat is murder, and you don't know what you're doing to your body, and you should choose a healthier lifestyle, and blah, 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 blah. I don't fucking care how you live your lifestyle. I don't care if it's healthier than my lifestyle. Fuck you. I like the way I live. I like eating meat. I love bacon. I love steak. I love burgers. I love eggs. I love fucking everything. Okay? So don't try to tell me to change my way I live. Now, are there animals I won't eat? Yes. I will not eat dog. I will not eat cat. I will not eat most seafood because seafood just disgusts me for other reasons and then there's those vegans that are like oh i'm a vegan but i eat fish and i'm like then you're not a fucking vegan I'm like yeah i am no you're not fish is fucking meat you dumb bitch realize what you're eating because if you're a true vegan or a true vegetarian you wouldn't eat fish i have a friend who says she's vegetarian and doesn't and just doesn't and only eats fish and i'm fine with that because I realize that she realizes that she's not a full-on vegetarian because she also eats fish. Now, I do really hate people who are ignorant and stuck up and think that their way is the only way of looking at something. It's, I'm trying to look at this in a good way. It's like the quick thing from Doctor Who. Actually, I, th I don't even know if it's truly from Doctor Who or if it's just a meme plastered on there, but three plus three well, it's not the exact same way of saying it, but I'm just going to say it however I want to say it. 3 plus 3 equals 6, but so is 3 times 2. The way you get your answer may not always be the only way, so don't criticize on the way somebody else gets it. It's a very good way of looking at things because while I'm not vegan, I don't really give a shit if you are. Because you know what? I'm not going to change my lifestyle because you tell me I, sh I could be living healthier. If you say, oh, I'm vegan and I have such a great lifestyle, you should try it. No. <clears throat> I'm not going to try your bullshit fucking fruity bullshit diet. I'm not going to fucking say, no, I'm done with meat because I want to live a healthy lifestyle. No. If I want to live a healthy lifestyle, I can work out, eat more salad, but also eat meat. Because, yeah, while meat may be murder to vegans and vegetarians because they're fucking retarded and look at... Oh, if you eat meat, you're a murderer. No, I'm not. Did I fucking slaughter this cow? No. No, I didn't. I didn't fucking touch this cow. It was killed in a slaughterhouse, hopefully humanely. Sometimes it's not too humane. I won't deny it. It's not the best things they do to them in slaughterhouses. Are there certain meats I want to eat? Yeah, fish. Most fish. Veal. Because baby cow, I just, that does not sound appetizing. That sounds like fucking torture to me. I know people who have had it, and I say, good for you. It's just not something I'd try. I wouldn't eat dog, I wouldn't eat cat. I wouldn't eat something I'd call an, a pet. Now, there's some leeway with this because, as you know, pigs can be pets, but I would say barnyard animals don't technically count as pets, whereas dogs, cats, bird, most birds, stuff like that can count as a pet. But yeah. God, I just got so off topic, I forgot what I was saying. Um, mm. My head hurts. I've been up all night. But yeah. So yeah, I I hate vegans, and I have good reason to hate vegans. But yeah, if I want to live a healthy lifestyle, I'm still gonna eat my meat. I'm gonna eat veggies from time to time because I I do. I will eat veggies from time to time because honestly, it tastes fucking amazing if, if you do it the right way. I make a killer salad, and that's because I know how to make it. Doesn't mean that oh I'm a fucking I'm all of a sudden I have to say I'm a vegan or I'm a vegetarian because honestly fuck you I hate honestly who cares I eat meat I eat vegetables that's what I do my eye hurts I just fucking poke myself in the eye <sighs> yeah there we go yeah so yeah if you're a fucking girl who looks at the world as all guys are pigs, and I don't give a shit what anybody else has to say because I'm fucking retarded and don't know what a debate is. I don't know how to say, okay, maybe he's right, maybe not all guys are assholes, maybe I should try looking in a different crowd of people. No, I'm just gonna say, nope, all men are pigs, I don't give a shit what you have to say, you're probably just hiding it better than them. I'm just thinking, bitch, fuck you, get the fuck out of my life. You can go fuck yourself with that fucking attitude because I hate people like you. It's just the way I look at it. Mm. 
Sorry. I am tired, as you can see. It is 8.48, and I have not gotten any sleep. And I have to go up to my school today to pick some shit up, so I really don't want to be awake. I want to be asleep right now, but I can't, because... <sighs> oh, I'm sleeping all day. Oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? I know there's more for me to say, but I can't think of it. Um... I was just trying to stay awake right now so I can think of what I was trying to think of. Um, I was trying to think of something I forgot. I'm terrible. It's how I always am when I'm doing a video. I always forget what I was going to say. Wow, I really forgot what I was going to say. Holy shit. Um... Fuck, what was I going to say? I'm an idiot right now. Oh. I remember what I was going to say now. If you look at your life, if you look at life like this, all men are pigs. I don't care what you have to say. I'm right. You're wrong. You're an idiot. And you should probably be a politician because that's pretty much being a fucking politician right there. Now, if you look at your way as all men are pigs, but... If somebody tells me that all men aren't, that men can be different, then maybe I'll listen and maybe I'll try to be with somebody else. Because just looking at it as all men are pigs, I don't care what you have to say, go fuck yourself, fuck you, you're wrong, yada yada yada, pisses people off. Especially when it's on Facebook. But not knowing what a not knowing that when there's actual true facts that not all men are pigs, it's just the way she a girl fucking looks at it because She's been fucking cheated on and hurt and shit. It's like, bitch, you're dating assholes. That's your fucking problem. Not mine. If you date assholes, you date assholes. I'm not going to fucking say shit. If you say all men are pigs because of dating assholes, it gives us a bad rap. <coughs> That's why I hate douchebags who fucking cheat and shit. It's because it gives all guys a bad rap. It makes girls think all guys are pigs. And it makes them not trust us. I can say this without a doubt that I didn't trust a lot of girls for a long time because I got cheated on. I get how it feels, but I'm not going to fucking immediately say, all girls are just lying fucking sluts who are just going to hurt me in the end, so fuck them. I don't care. I'm not going to listen to what anybody else has to say. If I actually find somebody that I'm really interested and I actually like and actually looks and actually has like a good personality, then yeah, I'm going to fucking actually go for them and oh, fuck time. And actually learn what they like and stuff and see if they actually like me. And I'm happy I found somebody that I actually get along with and is actually really cool and is not hurt, does not hurt me. So yeah, not all girls are sluts, not all guys are pigs. It's just the way you gotta look at it. If you look at it as all guys are pigs, then go fuck yourself and die. Or become a fucking lesbian or some shit. Guys don't need to deal with that. We deal with enough fucking girls calling us pigs on a daily basis. Even though in reality, that's how probably like... 5% of guys are. The other 95% of guys on the planet are actual genuinely nice. But girls don't look at it that way. Probably about 5% of girl, girls on the fucking planet are sluts. The other 95% are actually nice girls that don't fucking, you know, that aren't going to cheat and shit. But, you know, t getting burned one too many times could turn you into a fucking guy who thinks all girls are sluts and they're just going to fucking lie to you and hurt you. I think that's all for this video, guys. Have a safe and fun St. Paddy's Day. Um, make sure you guys actually keep an open mind about things. And if you guys hate vegans, tell me. Because honestly, I need more people that hate vegans. Because vegans are fucking douchebags. See you later, guys.